Hey all, sorry for the long delay on the video. Um, let me get my glasses. I can see what's going on. Just been life has been life has been doing the thing, the thing that life does, which is to be complex. So just a real quick uh, word on perspective. I think I've talked about perspective, but I'm inclined to give another story about perspective, and this one. Real simple. Uh, a while back, as you know, I'm, I'm into medieval martial arts, I'm into melee weapons, armor, the whole nine. A while back, um, I watched a video that was very, very illustrative on the idea of perspective without meaning to be. And what it was, was they were testing what uh, armor did for uh, defense against weapons. And... <clears throat> They had a pig carcass that they hung up, and they had a couple of them, and they were they were going to show that armor, you know, helped. And they took these spears, and about eight feet long, and uh, they hung the pig carcass, and they hung a weight off of it so it wouldn't just swing freely, and they took the spear, threw it at the pig carcass, and the spear transfixed the pig, and uh, the guy went, wow, that's, you know, that's rough, and uh, the guy said, "Look, you know, if someone throws a spear at you fairly hard, it's it's it it may not do like that. You know, go all the way through and stop halfway on the shaft, but it will certainly go through you, um, or at least all the way up to the the head. You will you will be hating life. So, if someone throws an eight foot spear at you, um, you be hating life. Now, I know some of you are going to be saying." Hey, if you have an eight foot spear, it's not really a throwing spear, it's more of a hand fighting spear. Bear, uh, keep that in mind, that's not what the video was showing. It was showing the spear being thrown, and it transfixed the pig. The next thing they did was they took some chain mail, no padding, just the metal, hung it over the pig, and they threw a second spear, a different pig. And this uh, spear went through the first layer of mail into the pig, out the back of the pig. And it hit the second layer, and it just sort of pushed out. It ballooned it. Uh, it tented it. And and that was it. And uh, they went, well, the mail didn't work very well. And he goes, well, it's, it's part of a system. You, you've you basically taken it out of its system. Uh, let me show you what it is. And he goes out and gets some fake furs and some tunics. And uh, he puts them on a third pig carcass, and he drapes mail over it. And a uh, new set of mail. And this is riveted mail, the whole thing. And they take a spear, and again, they throw the spear. And here's where the perspective came in. The spear hits the chain mail, right? And it goes, thud. And it's just sticking out of it a little. It looks like it caught up in the ring. And they, they examine the pig. And the, the spear had gone in about uh, half an inch. And... It had broken via the impact like two, three ribs. On a human, that'd be one or two ribs, and it would it would not have gotten past the intercostal space, uh, the space between the ribs. And the host said, "Oh look, I thought there's a spider. Oh look, the armor doesn't work. He's still hurt." And the host said, "The the the, the person who had the chainmail and spear says, no, no, no. The armor works great." I threw this big spear as hard as I could against a pig with smaller bones than humans, <clears throat> well, at least carcass did, and what it did was it transfixed the, the, the corpse the first time, but on the third time with chain mail and padding, it broke like one or, it, it, would, it broke a few ribs and it pierced him. So what you have is you have a very recoverable wound. Uh, broken ribs are nothing to sneeze at. But this isn't a fight-ending injury. This is not you screaming, hitting the ground, going, oh God, oh God, oh God, until someone stabs you. You can still fight. And this is from a full power shot where you don't see it coming. You're not avoiding it. You're not it, it, dead. You know, it would have caught dead, dead on, dead on the side, pow. So a fairly rare shot, almost perfect situation for the spearman. And you could have kept fighting. You could have killed the spearman. Or you could have turned around and gone, you know what? I've got some broken ribs. I'm leaking over here. I got to go. 
Now, on the one hand, the one person thought, the, the, the person who's not experienced with armor, the, 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 well, they're showing the test too, thought that armor should completely protect you, and he had a point. And the person who was experienced with armor thought the armor should keep you from getting really, really hurt, and he had a point. They were both right from their own perspective, but overall, we can look at history and find out that overall, the man who was throwing the spears, the one who thought that the that anyone wearing that armor who then got hit could probably still fight, is right. Only because you read the histories and you find out that, that people are, are tough, man. You know, you, you break arms and you break ribs and sometimes people, you know, fall down and stop fighting. Other times they just get really angry and they ruin your life. But this is perspective. This is the same exact test produced the same, that neither man said, no, that, that was not the result. They both agreed that the, re, the spear to the pig carcass did exactly what they said it did, but they interpreted it to mean two different things. One man said, the armor doesn't work. The other one said, I threw his heart, you know, this was an immensely hard shot, and all the man suffered was a small flesh wound and a, broke, you know, a couple broken ribs. This is eminently survivable. The armor was great. He was prevented from dying from this very hard blow. Uh, and the first one says, but, but, but he's, he, he's, he's hurt. He can't fight as well. He's this, he's that. His armor should have protected him all the way. Both of these people are right and they're both wrong because they're both right from their own perspective. One man thought armor should always protect you. And the other man thought armor can protect you from many things, but some things it can't. However, it can always help reduce the damage. Uh, we you hope, you see, one was sort of a nuanced idea. The other one was either you're, you're, the glass is half full or you're dead. But they're both not wrong, and they're both not 100% right. It all depends on your perspective. And I hope you, you can sort of see the metaphor in that. Have a good day. I apologize about the background. Uh, we will be getting a new tapestry. This is our new apartment. Uh, I couldn't get the light to work on the couch, so uh, as, as you saw in the previous video, we are we're we're slowly well we're slowly but surely working on decorating the place. Anyway, have a good week, all.